dies. Now, if you leave your foot, leave your foot on the gas, it'll idle. But the minute you take your foot out, you can hear it's idling. Take your foot off and then it just dies. So what you can do is try to hold it steady right there at the very tip. As it revs up, slowly let your foot off until just slowly, 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 slowly. See, it, it break down. All right. All right, I got it. It's idling now. It's idling now, but it's barely. So what we need to do is I'm gonna take the air clean off and check, uh, make sure air is not restricted. Cause remember, a car needs uh, air uh, to breathe. It needs good clean air to breathe. And if the throttle body blades are carbon up or air filter dirty and it's not breathing properly yes it will stall out all right so what i'm gonna do is get this off yep and as you can see the throttle body is dirty badly dirty now this year model this year truck has what we call a, a stepper motor ais stepper motor right here so it basically uh, controls the metering of the air into the intake. So a lot of times this gets clogged up or get carbon up and dirty. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take some of this throttle body cleaner and spray it out in here because we want to get the blades clean off and we're going to spray we're trying to get to the pencil. It's gonna be hard to get to the AIS motor pencil. Keep in mind, this is the AIS motor. Automatic idle speed. Automatic idle speed motor. And it controls the metering of the air to allow you not to start. So I'm gonna have to set the camera down, take me a rag and clean this out real good. Hold tight. What we're trying to do is clean the blades off. Clean the blades off so air can get in. Now there's only so much cleaning you can do to the pin tool of the AIS motor because it's inside the housing. But what you can do is try to use some of this to uh, try to get on the pin tool so you can essentially blow some of the carbon off of it. Now I got this as clean as <laughs> as clean as it's gonna get, you know, for what little I'm doing. Remember, I'm trying to get it to idle. So let's look down in here. Yeah, it's more. So let's see what happens. And then what we need to do from this point is grab a. Uh, we need to scan to actually, so we can reset. The AIS motor count, okay? Or oh, adaptive memory. You need to reset adaptive memory. All right, I'm gonna take my scan to. I'm gonna go into miscellaneous, and I'm gonna go into reset memory number two. See all of that? I want to reset adaptive fuel control. Uh, IAC counter okay they call it an IAC it's normally an AIS idle air control counter uh, the older model cars utilize a AIS motor automatic idle speed and I'm gonna reset the minimum TPS reset the fuel shutoff reset runtime install reset adapter numerator so I'm gonna pick seven all values I want to reset all values and click yes now keep in mind, this is DRB, the old scan too. So according to this, come on, focus. Everything has been reset. All right, let's see what we got now. It may not uh, run because all the fuel I've dumped in the throttle body. All right, my feet is on the gas. Now, let me let my feet off the gas right about now. Hey, you hear that? It's 
still idling. So now I can start the car and it idles on its own without me holding my feet, foot on the gas pedal. All right, let me do it again. That's it. But basically we had a clogged up throttle body and a dirty IAC motor. Autom uh, AIC, automatic idle control. That's what controls the idle. Okay, so there you have it, man. If your car, if you have to keep your foot on the gas pedal while your car is running, chances are you have a dirty throttle body and a dirty IAC motor. And you will need to reset all of those once you clean that stuff up. All right, thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe. This is an old Dakota. I think it's like a, let's see. This is like a, look at the, the two. S6. Okay, O2. This is an O2 Dodge Dakota. All right, that's all I got, man. Uh, thanks for watching. Come and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Quick, man, I want to talk about uh, you can see this. This is a 3.6 liter uh, minivan, actually. I'm doing a tune up, but what I want to talk to y'all about is the perfect time. The perfect time, you don't need a maintenance schedule, you don't need, in fact, I don't even think this under maintenance schedule to get done, but it's something you should do every now and then. And what I'm talking about is the throttle body and to clean it. What I have here is some throttle body cleaning, mm -hmm. so like I say, I'm not sure there's a make this interval to do throttle body clean but I like to do it every time I am doing a tune-up and as you can see I got all the spark plugs out I'm getting ready to I'm doing a tune-up actually so with the because the intake has to come off and it's at your disposal just hanging right there man this is the perfect time to do your thing so stop trying to figure out a mileage time when to clean your throttle body when in fact if for any reason you have the intake off, just say you're doing a oil filter adapter housing or you're doing some coils or you're doing, because uh, actually I'm replacing the coil on there. I had a misfire in cylinder six. As you can see, that's a brand new coil. That's secondary misfire. You can tell the difference between a secondary misfire and a, just a um, secondary misfire gonna show on the load. So when you bog it down, you might be doing a lot of shaking. All right. so. But I want to stay on topic, and that is the perfect time to clean your throttle body. And it is now during a tune-up. Uh, the topic at hand, man. Uh, I'm going to get this throttle body clean. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I have a toothbrush, a small toothbrush. What I'm going to do is what we're trying to do is clean all the carbon buildup on this thing. Okay, let me get you a good view. Get you out of good view there. You're trying to get all the carbon build up off of that. Now you gotta be careful because you can easily disrupt uh, ETC, electron throttle, throttle control, uh, the settings. Make sure the key is off. And actually, you're doing a tune up anyway, your battery should be disconnected. All right, you're doing any kind of engine work, uh, your battery should be disconnected. All right, man, that's all I have. Perfect time to do a throttle body. On this 3.6 engine is when you got the intake off for any reason.